Hey there! From the video title you can probably tell this isn't going to be a test run of Marduk because it is really cold out and really windy and I don't want to give Marduk just that sort of a um, uh, test in weird conditions just yet. I want to make sure that she runs properly in ideal conditions before we go trying some crazy maneuvers. And also my trick knee is a little weird today, a little sore, whatever, so not going to be doing a lot in that department, but hopefully I'm going to be putting on the Judd McStud suit right here, Marduk's a little older brother, and maybe, you know, walking around a bit and showing him off. Some of the movements might be a little janky, that's just because he's been on like storage for a while and left outside and all sorts of stuff, so his arms might not move exactly all the way, but they'll at least move. And I'll also be taking his uh, chest piece off so you can see me uh, in there, how I'm moving around with like the wall of arms and stuff. And uh, of course the PVC stilts. Um, not sure if I've ever given a tour of Denmark Stud, but you know, just PVC drywall stilts essentially and the same mechanism that drives Judd McStud's arms drives uh, Marduk's arms. Yes, Mar Marduk's are a lot beefier, so she's a big girl as opposed to Judd McStud who is just a little tiny, like eight feet tall with his little noodly arms. But I will be setting the camera down and then getting into Judd McStud and walking around with it. So, there's at least a test video, not the test video. Marduk, why do you have to be so difficult? There we go. Pretty light chest piece. So you can see it's pretty easy for me to get into these stilts. So, you know, you know, move around. This one is a little tighter than this one. I don't know why, maybe I gotta undo a loop of bungee. Yeah, I can walk around. Makes lots of mechanical crunchy noises. And here comes the wind, no more. straps. Make sure everything's on nice and tight. Get properly adjusted. Lift Judd off the rack for the stasis dock. Put my hands in, and here we go. Oop, be careful not to step on the stasis dock. And there we are. And now I can do some. Whoa. And like a punch. You can see that uh, bicep piece is kind of dangling around. Um, that's because I didn't really do a lot of PVC gluing on this, so the aesthetics don't like to behave themselves. But yeah, you can see. 
bending elbows. Good old dance. And boy, that's getting in the way. Much better bend, eh? So, you can go punch! Or, you know, a, bring the arms together. And when I had the boxing gloves on here, there was a lot more momentum, so I could, you know, bash my hands together. And, yeah, I can still do that a bit. You know, lift the arm way out. Other arm way out. Bend it. Bend it. Yeah! practice in and get some better um, material because this is all like metal flashing so it has sharp edges and not very friendly to crowds so I'm gonna maybe make some other stuff maybe looking a little better out of cardboard and paint it so that way it's a little more friendly and I could do like I know a cosplay competition or something you know get something that's really cool I guess so I'll just just like a stud here and hopefully not get blown over. Alright. Try to line myself up as I go back. Alright, not to step on anything. is wrecked. So all we do, release the buckles, release the belt, now I can step forward a bit, undo the ski straps in the shins, and off I go. Despite the lack of maintenance for Judd McStud, he's still doing pretty good. So, hopefully, next few days I can get the proper test. For Marduk done, we can see the old girl moving around. And then we can get going on like some, I don't know, a Kickstarter or something. That way you can make like a um, uh, big arena where you can then rent the giant robot like a go-kart, you know, drive it around punch stuff. I think that would be pretty neat. So, if you like my content, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.